Greetings, everyone, and happy holidays. This is Sean from the future, just to give you a brief introduction and a little bit of context to what you're about to see here. So this intro is being recorded on December 7th, 2017, almost fully 36 years after the footage you're about to see. So this, of course, takes place in 1981. My father at the time owned a cable company, and basically this holiday he decided to bring home one of the video cameras so that we could do a nice little holiday video. So we were doing a video, I mean, for ourselves, but also to show to other uh, you know, relatives and such who weren't able to be with us. My grandparents were actually scheduled to come out shortly after New Year's, so uh, a lot of this was for them because they weren't able to join us for Christmas. So we just kind of did this. I guess you could think of it as an early video letter, really, when you think about it. I guess the first video letter I was ever in. It's kind of strange. Speaking of strange, it's actually been really strange going back and watching this old footage. I mean, I've seen it before. I've seen these videos, you know, many times over the years. But it's really weird watching them now. At the time of this recording, I'm 45 years old, okay? In this video, I'm nine. So I'm actually younger than the age of my daughter currently. And my parents, my mom I think is 31 or 32 in this, and my dad is 43. So even my parents in this are younger than I am now. That is so trippy to me. I mean, because as a kid, you always think of your parents as being those two people who are older than you always. So to go back in time like this and see them when they're significantly younger than me. <laughs> I don't know, it just it, it messes with my head. Anyway, so this is 1981. The big thing for kids at the time was, of course, The Empire Strikes Back, which had uh, just come out, I guess, the, the previous year. But there was quite a, a tidal wave of toys that had been coming out based on the movie over the course of 1980 and 1981. So you'll hear lots of mention of that. I do get a lot of cool uh, Star Wars stuff and uh, some other things that uh, are definitely, I think, going to press the nostalgia buttons for you. There's, there's a lot of references to things that are very distinctly late 70s, early 80s. So the primary focus of this will be on stuff that I got for Christmas just for nostalgia's sake, but I'll throw in a few notable gifts that my parents got as well, just kind of as a means of having them in the time capsule here for you. So I just wanted to kind of give you an intro here, just a little bit of context, essentially what this video is, why we did it, and a little bit about the time period that it is in. For the rest of this video, for the most part, I'm just going to show you edited highlights raw straight off of the original video, so I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, my... Christmas gift to you. Christmas 1981 with the McLeans. Enjoy. I got some neat magazine. Look, he can extend his neck. Nope, nobody there. <laughs> Do we have some uh, new stuff? Nope. <laughs> it's really strange this morning. We just watched the play with you. I don't know where the beanbag chair is. The beanbag chair is staying on one side. Wait, I had an old consent. Where did they get that paper? It's over there, Sean. Not that one. Oh, there. One in the trunk. Yeah, it's right there, Sean. Okay. The Viewmaster. Um, Casper, the friendly ghost. Okay. Another action figure, it looks like. And it is. It's IG88. Oh, good. IG88. Yeah. Isn't that boring, Pat? <laughs> it's not boring. It's not boring. Deluxe These are things I've burning. always wanted. Deluxe wood burning. Um, yeah. Easy, fun, creative woodcraft for ages 9 and up. CE? To 111. I'm going to be able to do this. I'd probably be able to. Mommy said I was too young. What? You got one of the things I wanted for Christmas. Well, no one knew you wanted it until I got it for Daddy. Look at this guy. Looks tough, doesn't he? 
Well, I'm going to save the one you don't uh, know anything about. Oh, that one. I'll be yeah. able to have an intergalactic <laughs> battle with all these action figures. Thank you, my man. Did you see that? They threw that icicle back on the tree. They didn't love your old mug. All right, squirmels. It's something you always wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this an egg bracelet? Isn't he cute? Yes. Isn't he cute? Yeah. Look good. There's supposed to be some thread here. I can't find it. Another bookmark. <laughs> Look. Look at this, folks. Book monster strikes again. <laughs> News. Barbershop, old-fashioned luxury. <laughs> Newspaper for well, read the box, you don't. <laughs> read the box. Oh, uh. <gasps> One, run That's hot water cool. over your barbershop brush. <laughs> <laughs> Professional shaving mug. Professional. Oh. We have a TV uh, monitor set up right here. That's why you see us look over all the time. Camera. Winnie the Pooh! One more present in my stocking. A Laura Seacord Santa Claus. Mm. Chocolate. Oh, See, dang. folks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this big one right here. By the way, did you have that novel? No, I haven't. That's this new one. Oh, okay. Oh, Michael, because you're such a sweetie. To Sean, with lots of love and hugs and kisses from Mommy and Daddy. Kiss up, kiss up, kiss up, kiss up, kiss up. Well, this has got to be the most boring program in the world. I don't believe it is. It is an ad act. Oh. Oh, it's right.
the beginning of that was on my bodyguard, remember? Well, we haven't got too much more to open. We're back. Except, take a look at the big one behind you. I wonder what that is. Oh, I know. I still have that to open. I wonder if uh -huh. it is a trampoline. Jump right through the roof. <laughs> How would you like to open that one, Sean? It's kind of a special one. That's why I wanted to save it. Yeah. Raw man, Sean, with lots of love, mommy and daddy. Look at him. Kid has an unerring instinct mommy for where the camera is. Kiss up, kiss up, kiss up. I've got uh, an Abbott and Costello album here, Dad. Uh, with uh, who's on first? I'll play it when you get here. And all these kits.
can just uh, start playing with it any time you want. This is from, uh, to us from Mum and Dad, and as you see, Sean already opened it by mistake in his enthusiasm a little earlier. Oh, a baby blue sweater to match my blue and blue eyes. God bless you. Thanks, folks. To Mike and Marilyn, with love from Mum and Dad. You too. How do you do? Mm, that is really pretty. Yes, I'd agree to that. I am a famous, I'm a famous Canadian artist, Phyllis Bruce. We were at her showing in the fall for the dresser for a while. Wow. That is really beautiful. It is like that. And it's our colors, too. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Samantha. We hang that up in a special place. Another one for me. Okay, who's that from? Dushan from Kermit the Frog. That's Oh, oh, oh. I knew it. 
pretend? Yeah. I can tell by the shape. Oh, it's all the raisins. Look at that. Little box. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad. Or a um, garage sale. Can you pass me the, uh... Okay. Yeah. Scissors? Can you pass me the scissors? checked out the dimensions of our bedroom and having uh, stood on a ladder to paint the ceiling I knew that the ceiling would be high enough. <laughs> so you're uh, going to use that. It's also very quiet and uh, there's sufficient space to use it. And there's a uh, book in here. There you go. Yes. Rebounding. 
The Miracles of Rebound Exercise. Well, I must say it was a real surprise. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> the whole family should. I hardly wait to try it. These are stickers that come with the adapt. I'm putting them on now. Okay, we'll give you a brief look at uh, things. This is uh, from Bob and Denny to Sean. It's uh, carved out of wood. I would assume Bob uh, made it himself. And in the top it has holes. It's the letters uh, of Sean's name. There. And the top is holes for pencils, pens, and things, so I'll sit on his dresser. It's quite thick. Okay. St. Sean's at that. And his uh, out and puppet. We also got a game of electronic Dungeons and Dragons here. That's really, Damn it, the lot. That's really uh, family present. I have a, a lat latch hook kit here. It's a, a lion. Um, there. But, um, I should have completed all probably by 1992. We've got a lot of books and uh, magazines and records. Purse. Ron and Emily gave us another kit. I think this might be called the Christmas of the Kit. This is a creative meal craft kit that's probably going to take about the same length of time for me to do it as Michael takes to do his latch uh, Michael gave me a needle point to do. It's one of these great big ones that will keep you going for quite a while. I think it will be very nice when it's finished. And Sean over there, he has a million things, yeah. mostly Star Wars stuff. This is a twin pod cloud car. Lots of Star Wars action figures. And yeah, almost and everything. And books. This came in a uh, mummy's tin, but uh, full of razors. And a couple of records. And a Yoda from Auntie Rosemary. Yoda and. Hmm. Can't see it, John. You're too high. You're up to yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Don't get it. Okay, well, we'll wrap it up for Christmas opening. Now we're going to stop bird. Oh, one thing we oh. just mentioned before uh, we go off camera here is um, Sean made for Michael and I a game. And his philosophy is anybody can go out and buy a present, but it takes a lot more initiative to make one. So this year he made us uh, this game called Get to Grandma's House Before the Big Bad Wolf Gets You. And it's for ages six to adult and for two to four players. And inside we have a game board. Um, let's see. This is the game board. Um, you can't really read it on camera, but this is a start over here and it has a number of cards that you put here and then you draw one each time tells you how to move and go around to get to grandma's house and if you happen to get a good uh card you get a shortcut to go through there's a shortcut here and another one here and then he made these little people that uh, are the pieces that we move and i think we're probably going to have fun with that later today which is December 25th, 1981, if you seem to have forgotten. Well, I don't think anyone will forget that. Sean's, Sean's just showing off his new watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's going to about wrap it up for Christmas morning. I think we'll probably see you a little bit later at uh, dinner time. Do we? Yeah, do you want to go turn the camera? Oh, sure. <laughs> um, all together now, folks. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. 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 Say
in it for those two. Let's see how our Christmas looked. A little bit more to the tape. Yeah. Like, as we said earlier, in this Christmas production, we said we'd also um, show you show you us at the dinner, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? I thought so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't you have something to say, Sean, about uh, what you liked about this Christmas? Oh well, yeah. yeah. There's some. There's a. I know it's not Thanksgiving yet, <laughs> but I'm uh, thankful for a few things. Like for instance, how about uh, this wonderful family of mine? And this beautiful champagne. <laughs> um, well, I'd like to say what I just said. Take it away, mommy. <laughs> Don't copy me. Please. Well, I'll try not to call you to Sean. Good. Copy me. Get my head in there, Michael. Yes, dear. <laughs> I'm thankful for the videotape, for one thing, for getting this all on record. I do have to call you a little bit, though, Sean, because I, too, am thankful for my wonderful family, my darling husband. And your wine. And uh, my child, who doesn't interrupt too often. And uh, I'd just like to say that Christmas time isn't just a time for... Uh, lots to eat and lots of food. It also means that the end of the year is coming near. And as we all know, last year wasn't terrific all the time. And I'm thankful that we're all here today, though, to celebrate this day. And I'm thankful for the rest of the family who aren't here, but who are with us in spirit, and that we love and miss very much. And I hope that next year is just an absolutely terrific year for everybody in our family. That's not just my side of the family, but also the McLeans, who are a wonderful big family. And uh, one of these years, I'd like to get all the families together and rent a hall or something and just have a terrific Christmas with everybody. Cousins, aunts and uncles, anybody who can possibly be there. And for this year, I'm just thankful for the three of us that we've had a very nice but quiet Christmas together. And it doesn't take a lot of people to have a whole lot of love. Uh, yeah. Very good. You a pro, Sean? Hmm? Do you a pro? Yes. Okay, I'm going to come over and say hi now. And this is going to be neat because I'll be right in front of Sean. Um, Mommy? Come on, come on. I don't know how to do it. I've never done it. Everything's in a loose thing. Just stand on that. That's the focus control. It's not quite in focus. Where do I aim it? Uh, it should be aimed now. Maybe Charlie or that. Daddy's just trying to uh, explain how to work the video camera for mommy. Yeah. Michael, I've, I've never touched this thing before. How am I supposed okay. to know what okay. I'm doing? Okay. Um, well, that's pretty well aimed. Just uh, adjust the focus if you want. That's it. Good. I don't think you're going to get it much better than that. Um, now the ring behind that, see, just back on the lens, is the, uh, so you can move it manually too. So you want to take it back just a touch. I have a very big base. Looks good. Look at that. Professional. I guess as you can tell, we have uh, a new toy. Me. And, uh, as with all new things, so we're doing a little experimenting, but the main thing we're trying to accomplish here is to uh, 
is to share with you in a few days we hope our Christmas and uh, and for me to reiterate that uh, I think everybody's uh, been concerned and worried about us enough over the past while we're uh, we're in pretty good shape uh, we I'm grateful for the past year because uh, uh, we've all maintained our health. Uh, Sean has had a very, very good year in school after a rather difficult one last year, as you know. He seems much more secure and settled in this little world. My pet seems to be coping very well with uh, the pressures of, uh, of business and that she has told me to uh, take this job and stop it. Uh, and I hope next year to be able to take her up on that offer. Uh, everything from a business standpoint uh, is looking up for us. And uh, something that uh, I suppose we take for granted but seems really quite remarkable to me is that in spite of the fact that we both come from fairly large families, um, we're still all together this Christmas. And, uh, and everyone seems uh, hale and hearty. So uh, I'd like to, uh, uh, Marilee just left the room, I don't know what she's doing. I'd like to um, propose a toast to all of you who aren't here. And um, John really doesn't have champagne at seven up. I thought I'd better get that on the record so I don't go to jail for contributing. Um, where's Mummy? Now I know how the newscaster feels when they don't turn the camera off. Oh, I take uh, control. Uh, take control? We'll just You'll do that soon enough. I'll be right back, Michael. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, no, we're okay, Sean. Sit down before I uh, have to break something.
made the transition post and to cut it for it. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Lynette. How are I guess you heard me say that uh, back off camera. <laughs> yeah, I had a reason to. When we still recording? Yep. Are we still on the air, folks? There's a lot of pressing here. Folks, uh, seems like there's more dressing or uh, stuffing, whatever you want to call it, than much. bird. That's a rather big bird. Big bird? You cooked a big bird? Doesn't that look great, folks? Hmm? That's the carver's privilege. Okay? Do I push the pay button to go back out again? If you like. You don't need to stand still when I'm doing it. You can still move around and go what you're doing. I'm going back into the bird here. Oh my. Well, why didn't it fade out? You have to hit the stop button after the fade. Exciting programming watching us, so stuff like 
shall remain nameless, but whom we still love very much, erased what we did on Christmas Eve. So we thought we would come down tonight when Sean was in bed and everything was quiet and show you our tree. Is that what you're doing right now? Yep. We have a beautiful bushy tree this year. It's a Nova Scotia balsam. And we just wanted to make sure we got it on tape for posterity and also for you to have a look at it in case you don't get here before we have to take it down. When I say it's bushy, I'm comparing it, of course, in my mind to the tree we had last year, which was anything but bushy. It was uh, Michael's Charlie Brown tree. And of course, after Dad got through with the saw, it was uh, quite skinny. But uh, this year we managed to get one that really fills up the room and it also has a very beautiful fragrance. What are you doing with the camera? I'm trying to move the camera and the stand over so we can show our... Sean's grandparents the, um... his latest creations. All oh, the decorations that yeah. he did up on the wall there. Way over there. You probably remember the macrame from last year with the bells on the end. It's one of his artistic endeavors. And then we have his Santa Claus. And his display board here. And this is the Merry Christmas he made one morning from leftover wrapping paper. empty underneath there. The other night we had quite a good show of all the presents and as usual there was quite an abundance of them. And now they're all opened and scattered and out. Hi. There he is. Well, it's Boxing Day. Retired. And I feel like such a horse's patoot for losing that um, thing Christmas Eve. Everything's here except the presents. Well, we're here and that's me. We're here. And we wish you were. And, uh, boy, am I tired. Mm hmm. Is that tired? How tired? Well, I'm just tired, tired. It'd be nicer if you were here you could talk back to us. You know? It's hard to talk to that skinny little camera. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it as folks. When, uh, when they're here, we'll uh, make them sit here and do this, and then uh, we can look at them talking to us when they're not here. Right. 
We, uh, we just got back from uh, Dick and Ruth's in Selkirk. We were there for dinner, Boxing Day dinner. We had a uh, great big tenderloin filet, and Ruth made a cheese souffle. We had in it spinach, mm -hmm. and um, nice uh, salad, and... Um, Stuffed tomatoes, and baked potatoes, oh, yeah. and oh. Dick said, uh, you know, we'll go out in the skidoo for a while, and then we'll, uh, we'll have light, light, light dinner. Light snack, I yeah. thought. He said light dinner. No, Dick said casual dinner. He, that's what he said tonight. But mm. uh, anyway, I'd hate to see one of their heavy dinners. Um, we went out on the skidoo. Dick has a skidoo. He wanted to take Sean out for a ride. And, uh, and then I took Sean out for a ride with me. Sean riding in the front and I uh, let him steer it a little bit. Then when we got back, Dick said, uh, Sean, would you like to take the skidoo out? And he said, you mean alone? And Dick said, yeah. I said, sure. So he got on the skidoo and away he went. I saw my son beetling down the Red River, hell bent for leather on a skidoo and uh, looking like a real old pro at it. And uh, Dick, of course, was trying to assure me uh, by saying things like, don't worry about Sean. He's, uh, He's a very careful kid. He said uh, some kids aren't careful or cautious, but Sean is, you know, cautious. And of course, you know uh, how he is around any kind of machi machinery. That's right. There wasn't yeah. the, he could talk. Yeah. With machines. He That's certainly. Well. He's certainly not at all intimidated by him. Don't I look Christmassy in my black turtleneck? Mm. I think I just came from a funeral. We, we had a whole production done Christmas Eve, and then Christmas morning, Sean held up a couple of signs that he had made, which we will now hold up for you. This is the sign that Sean had made for Christmas. He wanted it to be like a real movie. All right, just let me zoom in on it here. Oops. Okay. It says Christmas 1981 at the McLean's. Starring Michael McLean, Sean McLean, and Marilyn McLean. This has been a home movie production. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's about time to say goodnight. Wrap it up for Christmas 1981. We look forward to seeing you folks. I don't know how the hell you, you manage uh, your trips all over the country. I've just been staying at home having a very quiet, relaxing Christmas, and I'm bushed. <laughs> so uh, we wish you happy landings and uh, hope to see you real soon. Yeah, real soon in the new year. Good night, folks. Good night, folks. Don't rest your arm on that board. You lift it up. That's better. But you're tilting the board. She was going to have a baby boy, though, and she had a baby girl. So it didn't tell the truth. Mm -hmm. What she wanted.
care of anymore. You know what hurts your arms the way arms January. No, January 5th. We're in the new year here with uh, our mom and dad. Mommy and dad. There he is. <coughs> Out of focus as always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the Irish cream. Must be the Irish cream, yeah. A Scotsman drinking Irish cream. Who's nice to the camera? Who do you think my public? My own. Good yes, evening. you're on, Mother. <laughs> it's so nice to be here with my McLean. Jolly good evening coming up. Hi. Now what we're going to do, I have this cushion here, you see? And I have these cards here, see? And we're going to play this ESP game, see? Okay. See? Uh, so. Is that in Spanish? Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stick my. Oops. Oh, break. Okay. 
Diamond. Daddy. Michael. They can't see you, he knows. The little thing's making all those faces. Let's see the triangle. Michael is right. The triangle. Good. Sure. Not only that, but when she had it in her hand, she was holding it sideways. <laughs> Did you see it in my hand? No, it's not here. Oh, well, and it was pointing to the right. <laughs> see, when she gives me my orders. What does that have to do with pointing to the right? I never it's asked you to point to the right. The triangle is pointing to the right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, where are you going? Right up here. I noticed he left it with you, so you better start acting. Yes, I know he left on me. Well, I have the number picked out here. And uh, the guy's ready to... <laughs> like Mike says. That's right, know. the news captain. <laughs> oh, it should be about a rectangle about this time. <laughs> there comes the... I think a circle. There <laughs> comes Sean? the pose again. <laughs> Where's that going up? I thought it was very good. Careful. Your weight doesn't change. Um, circle. Daddy. Uh, it's triangle. You're wrong. It was a circle. Oh, oh we're right. Sean, we're right. That's oh, mine. Mm -hmm. How can it be your turn? You just had one. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, then. Square. Square. Uh, rectangle. Daddy. Right at the floor. <laughs> Sweet child. Hey, Michael, you're okay. Up, 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 Mike, up, Mike. Up, up, up. <laughs> way up. Where are we? Uh, <laughs> I think that it is a diamond. You're right. Oh, no, no diamonds are quite right. Best friend. Uh, I'm just trying to get you. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> you have much room, do you? No. <laughs> yeah, give me a little more room here. Um, this is really good on camera. My darling, what? Boobies. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, uh, silence, because I hear wood burning over in the corner there. Oh, it's got to be a circle then. Sean? <coughs> uh, wood burning, but Sean, burning me, say, huh? It's supposed to come. Wood burning me, say, huh? What's that got to do with it? Rectangle. Yeah, he's right, it's a rectangle. You're both wrong. It was a square. Mother was right. Well, I got two in this one. I'm wrong. Bet much better than the other day. You've been jumping too fast, Dad. You have to give me a chance to project. Because the one time I'm when supposed to get it before you even project. I know what you're going to look at. Yeah, but the one time I had a triangle and I thought it's a diamond. And I thought no, it's a triangle. And before I could look at you, you said diamond. Well, that's <laughs> you were the one too I got. Fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the I got the first transmission. Mm -hmm. right. I think this is my last one. Yes. bigger than a square, so it must be a rectangle. <laughs> I will say a circle. A rectangle. Wrong -o. Dad! Did you pick one? Yes. Yes, you're not on camera, Sean, so you don't need to. You said a rectangle. Can you get me back on camera? You're wasting the Missy Merrily, the camera is on you.
How come you always go down there, Mike? <laughs> uh, circles. A uh, uh, circle. No, Dad was right. It was the rectangle. So was Sean. Hmm. Oh, that's right, Sean. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Well, he said that. Uh, how about I'll pass them to Dad now. So how about you come over here and I'll go there and I'll get you in some. Okay. okay. Sure. I mean, that's filming like that with no noise. Of course there's no noise. That was me that just went by, folks. I made that, you know? Um, I made that. Really nice. It's full of candy, you know? They haven't started yet, but I'm projecting anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why are you projecting? I didn't say I was suggesting, I said I was projecting. No, projecting an early end to the winter or what? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Mm -hmm. Why are there more horses in there? <laughs> <laughs> you recording? We're on. Oh, no, you have to make a speech. <coughs> make a speech? No, you don't have to make a speech, just say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, I had a, a wonderful Christmas and Boxing Day and Christmas Eve and had a good holiday with these two wonderful people, even the one who's out of the picture. <laughs> That's right. I never thought of that when you said over there. That one over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to the McLeans for a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye. <coughs> as we were on the tail end of their visit, they didn't get to stay here very long, and I guess they're anxious to get back to their own nice little sanctuary there in the Okanagan. So we just would like to uh, give them a little kiss goodbye, because we won't be able to set the camera up tomorrow morning. Are you going to follow me? Sure. Okay. Bye, darling. To my mummy. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye. I hope you're back real soon. Right. And if you're not back real soon, I hope we're in a new house by the time you do get back. <laughs> in, in, Kelowna. in Kelowna. It <laughs> <laughs> was really great having you. Look, feet. I wish you could stay home. Don't make me cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, the tears glisten on television. Yes, I know. <laughs> Here's my papa. Thank you for having us. In other words, it's your daddy. Well, thank you for coming. I'm glad you could fit us in well, your busy schedule. We would have been here earlier, but we got stuck one place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't we look great on camera? Go <laughs> photo, Jeannie. Yeah. A hey, good thing one of us is. <laughs> Can, Can I hug him and say goodbye, goodbye, Michael? I well, want to hug Dan, him. If I'm going to hug him, I'm going to move it. Right? <laughs> Okay, move it back and then I'll come and get you. You're coming and get me? What about me? I'll come and get you saying goodbye. Say goodbye to Grandpa. Okay, you come and say goodbye to Nan and Grandpa. Sean. I'll come over there. Follow me now, okay? Oh, follow me now. Director, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, there we are. Bye, Sean. And the, yeah. and the, and the time that we couldn't stay here with you, you can hey. come out and stay with us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm Anna. not a ham bone like you. No, we oh, got. We did pretty well. <laughs> we did pretty well. We we got. Okay. There we are. I'm not a ham. I don't sit down. Quick and sweet. Bye bye. <coughs> we'll see. Well.
Bye, everybody. Yeah. You, got, you got all the backs. That's all right. <laughs> like, turn around. <laughs> no, no, I'm just not a. I'm just not a husband. Look over his. <laughs> look over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you can hug Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Scotty's, you're oh. tricky, you know. Oh, my God, is your nose in there, Mike? Can you get closer to that? <laughs> get closer. <laughs> yeah, he's got to bend down. Give him a nice hug. Get your faces together. Well, get our faces together. You've got to be kidding. I'm with, I'm with like a belly button. <laughs> that looks hilarious. That looks so funny. Oh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, don't, don't you know? <laughs> okay. That will break somebody up in the future. And they see that one. That's hilarious. Okay. It'll probably break us up if we ever see it again. The picture's very photogenic in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the bottles we drank at Christmas. <laughs> you should see them under the sink. I did.